my friends. How are y'all doing? I'm gonna turn the desktop audio down just a little bit. Hopefully my mic is okay. I tried to fix it, but I think it's still quiet again. Um, if it's totally, like, way too quiet, then I'll switch to the old, like, kind of crap one. But yeah! Uh, oh, I don't have VitoTube set up properly. Whoopsie! There we go. Now she moves. Uh, anyway, so today I'm just doing cleanup. Um, the animation was pretty much finished last week. I got some notes from the director, and I'm just working on cleaning up. So I've got all these, uh, I've got all these Leo heads, um, and essentially I'm just copying them and pasting them onto the body. The best way to clean up an animation is to, uh, like draw as few lines as possible. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, yeah. Hopefully all my audio is balanced. It looks like my desktop audio is a little loud, so if my music is louder than me, just let me know. Um, yeah, I'm excited too. Uh, cleanup is usually not my favorite part, but it is something that I really want to learn and get good at. So I'm forcing myself to think about it uh, instead of just kind of tracing my previous work. Um, yeah, so there's many different ways that you can go about cleanup. There are some programs that make it easier, like Toon Boom. I'm still using TV Paint to clean up because it's what I got. Um, but there is, essentially it's just thinking about the forms critically. So I'm just going to follow the lines that were given to me, and a lot of the times I'm actually just going to go over the area, like this, and try multiple times to get that line in one go, especially because that is the style. And then I'll just erase afterwards. Um, programs like Toon Boom and Clip Studio Paint make this process a lot easier because they have like cool selection tools where if I pull a line like this, you can actually just delete this bottom part. TV Paint does not have that yet, unfortunately, but it's okay. I can, I can do it manually still. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to switch to the better microphone, but I think it is, it's quiet. Um, Maybe, hold on, let's see if I can adjust it. Is that as loud as it'll go? That might be as loud as it will go. Let's see if I can adjust it more. I don't know if this is slightly louder. Um, I'm like as close as, to, as close to the mic as I can be. Hmm. Let me just see if I can. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna go back to the crap mic then just until I can get this, the better mic fixed. Um, I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna be a little bit louder when I, when I, when I unmute, so just, just a heads up. Okay, 
Wow, that's a lot louder. Okay, cool. Um, I'll just go with the tinny microphone until I can, like, figure out whatever the hell is going on with the good one. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> I was hoping I'd have the good one by now, but, uh, we'll see. Is this not undo? Yeah, I- sorry, I tried to warn you. <laughs> um, I'll have to just go through and see what is happening with the other mic. Uh, Cause this one, I know, I was like, <laughs> what? With the shitty microphone? <laughs> Tinny? What did you think I said? <laughs> Pip! What did I say? <laughs> tinny. I said tinny. Like tin can? What did you think I said? You know what? Actually, I don't want to know what you think I said. I don't want to go there. I said tinny. Because it sounds like I'm in a tin can. Oh. Yeah, sure. Of course you would think that. Nice job, Pip. <laughs> oh, God. I guess I need to enunciate a little bit better. Oh, God, everyone heard me say, all right, well, no, tinny with two N's. Good Lord. So basically, I'm just trying to do everything in, in like, one, one big line. Yeah. Um, and then this is the mask line. We're not calling it that. Please don't get me TOS'd. It's just my headset microphone, basically. So it's... I do sound like I'm in a tin can. Oh my god. Well, what a great start to this stream. How are we all doing today? How is everyone in chat? Other than the tinny microphone. <laughs> um, how are you all hanging up? Ho or holding up? I mean, if it's up to me, I'm always going to choose animating over drawing. Oh my god, hi Diallos! How are we all? I already asked how we're all doing, but hell yeah. Just doing some cleanup. I think that's pretty decent. Um, 
I spent all that work on the, the like, jacket tufts, but I actually think I want to clean up the body first. No, I don't. I lied. <laughs> Okay, then we've got, let's see, the black lines are the correct ones. Just gonna pull a line from there. Um, so I always suggest cleaning up in the same order that you animated in, especially if you worked pose to pose. So I will clean up my keyframes first and then I'll clean up my breakdowns and in-betweens. Um, and uh, like I was saying earlier, um, oh, that's actually her bicep. I should be paying attention to the clothing. But as I was saying earlier, uh, you want to avoid doing, like, drawing as many new lines as possible for really clean, um, cleanup. And, uh, then you can, you can work, uh, or, uh, you can just copy and paste, essentially, some, some full poses and kind of tween them or, or, you know, nudge them around. I, so I learned uh, animation on paper and we don't clean up on uh, a separate sheet of paper. You clean up over top of colored pencil with like a, a, a pencil, like a, a lead pencil. So I just learned to be able to see through uh, a nightmare. And also I like, I use three different sketch layers. <laughs> it's just the way that I work. Um, so I'm just like trained, I guess, to see through all the sketch lines. But, um, cause when I, when I work on paper, uh, you like tie down, sorry, sorry, not clean up, tie downs are done with gray pencil lead over top of colored pencil. Um, and then cleanup is actually done with ink, or if you're doing it digitally, you do it digitally. But, um, it's just like how I learned, so I think I'm just used to seeing 300 lines on a piece of paper. Because I start in purple, and then my actual, like, roughs are blue, and then I tie down in, in lead. So, I don't know, it makes more sense to me to like see all the the sketches <laughs> if that makes sense um okay we're going for very angular so i'm i'm not even going to try and match the lines i'm going to go full like fully through them I don't know, I knew some people who would just like straight up animate in lead pencil. They wouldn't do a sketch pass in in colored pencil first, and I just didn't understand like how they could see their their like see to tie down uh from lead because it's so dark. I'm thinking about doing the arms on a separate layer. Yeah, that'll work. Bup, bup. I had to change my music like three times because I kept getting um, copyright notifications even though it was supposed to be royalty free. So this music is by Stevia Sphere. Um, I love it. 
She's awesome. All of her stuff is linked in the description. Uh, because she lets creators use their work, even commercial, or her work, even commercially. Um, as long as there's credit, so. If you like the music that's playing, please go check Stevie Sphere out. I love her stuff. <laughs> um, I also just like creators that are like, yeah, go for it. I mean, I understand, uh, like, wanting to be paid for your work. I'm not complaining about that. Is that right? Yes, it is. Um, I might do the sleeves later. Yeah. So I'm not going to bother with the bicep right now, because I have to do the sleeves later, but the shell I will do. Gotcha. I just didn't want the music to like be louder than my voice. Uh, I just really wanted to give uh, that music artist some credit. I don't know, cleanup is, is a pretty slow po process compared to animation. I'm definitely much faster when it comes to animating than I am at cleanup. But... Cleaning up my own work definitely teaches me to be more critical about what lines I'm putting on the paper um, when, when I'm animating. It also just gives me a newfound appreciation for cleanup artists, because they do so much work. Um... So, shout out to uh, cleanup artists. <laughs> and then, I think I'll do the mask tails on another layer. Oh, and she has freckles. And earrings. I'll do the earrings on another layer, but the freckles I should add in now. Oh, she doesn't have freckles anymore. Okay. That makes it easier on me. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um, then... Oh, uh, does she still have the pins on her jacket then? Is that something that I should add now if she does? I will add those right now then. Let's see, I think I have an ellipse tool. Gotcha. I want 
this to be a two circle. Oh my god, yeah, the voice, uh, the voice actors all did such a good job. It's the first time I think I've heard all of them in one video. Um, this should be purple. Oh, well, I'll come back and do the, the, the flag later. Actually, yeah, I should, I should do this later. And um, copy to brush. <laughs> Actually, um, There we go. Now I'll have it uh, to copy and paste forever until the end of time. Or until TV Paint decides to reset my brushes. That's good for this keyframe. This is TV Paint, actually. Um, Adobe Animate is... Oh my god. <laughs> Pip, why would you send me this? Okay, um, Adobe Animate is 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 good for, for animating, uh, like, vector-based stuff. Um, it's just not my personal favorite. I can't stand the brushes. Um, I used to use, well, when it was still called Flash, I used Flash a lot, but, uh, it's just not my favorite. Okay, now, is there anything I can reuse? No. New layer, or new frame. <laughs> Um, TV paint is pretty expensive. The professional version is like in the upper 900s, but I got mine through my school. Um, so it was discounted like really heavily, but it's a one-time purchase. I think with my school discount, the professional version was somewhere around 200. Um, and again, it's a one-time purchase. So I thought that personally it was worth it. Um, but it is very expensive. Uh, it just was like the best option for me at the time. I 
I was also working two jobs at that point, so. <laughs> but, um, so it's not like a, a program that I would suggest to people like looking to, to get into animation. Yeah, it, it's, it is an industry standard program. Um, like Klaus was animated in TV paint and then cleaned up in Toon Boom and After Effects. And, uh, Wolfwalkers was animated on paper or on Toon Boom, or uh, sorry, TV Paint. Um, yeah, <laughs> appropriate reaction indeed. Um, it is not something that I would suggest to people like looking to start animation. Ooh, yeah, I, I've see, I don't like Procreate. I think we were talking about that. It's just like not something I personally enjoy using. Um, but I, I've, I, I know a lot of people who really like it and who are excited for Procreate Dreams. Um, I'm just tired of like most programs being a subscription model uh, because I, I basically have paid for uh, TV Paint by using Toon Boom, if that makes sense. Like. When I was using Toon Boom for school, I paid the same amount in subscription fees that I did uh, uh, just paying for Toon Boom, or sorry, TV Paint Forever. Why do they both have to start with T? Um, oh, Wolfwalkers is on Apple TV. I was really sad that it wasn't like a, a wider release because it was a good movie, but it was only on the one platform. Big fan of Cartoon Saloon. Where am I cleaning up? Oh, I forgot to make my music loop. No, I can't be left alone with my own thoughts. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I I also don't like pro. I mean, it's not that I don't. It's not that I hate it. It's just I prefer not to use it. There's something about the way the brushes like lay down uh, behind your stylus rather than generate in front or kind of generate on top that really irks me. Um, It's almost like if you've seen videos of, of people stretching taffy, it Procreate feels like it's generating your brush stroke like taffy stretching. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only thing I can equate it to. Um, but if you like it, you like it. Uh, it's just not for me. Toon Boom looks really difficult. Like it, it looks scary. Um, because they haven't updated their interface since they made the program, since it was still called Studio. But, um, uh, Toon Boom is really, uh, once you, let's see, how, how do I phrase this? Once you know what to look for, Toon Boom is very, uh, What's the word that means it's it's easy to use? It's uh, intuitive. Once you know what you're looking for, Toon Boom is very intuitive. But until you until you learn what to look for, then it's like it's it's like being left alone in a in a store as a child. It's confusing. Um, I don't know what Moho Pro is, but I know that we're doing a mix of vector and uh, frame by frame just by like virtue of uh, if you've ever seen the way they animated the Amazing World of Gumball, essentially what they do is they have a puppet for the head and hand shapes and they just kind of animate the bodies frame by frame. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know how, how difficult it would be to match the styles, uh, cause I don't really animate by vector. I've done it before, but it's, it's not my thing. 
I think if you want to, like, we could do a test of it. Uh, just to see if, if it's possible to match the two styles together. But yeah, I, I have no I have no experience with Moho. Um I'm just trying to not to make the mask line up with this red line. Which will be the uh shadow on the face. Da -da -da. Um, I'll take a look at Moho too. Is it just a mobile program or is it a a, um, a desktop program as well? I really should be doing the mouth shapes on a different level. No, I don't. I did them all. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, you know what I could copy? There we go. Work smarter, not harder, friends. Moto is the best. Okay, I will. I will. Oh, you know what? The vec the lip sync is going to be separate from the animation itself. So, I'll I'll look into Moho and and see if we can talk about like um. If you just wanted to be a lip sync animator, but I mean that's not my call to make. I'm not the director, um, but like from an animation standpoint, like, uh, lip sync is, is separate from the body animation. So a possibility it could be. That was like Yoda speak. A possibility it could be. Oh. <laughs> I'm very tired. Uh, Oh, animate I am. True, true. Pencil, there used to be a program uh, that was like free that worked pretty well for vector and raster based animation called like Pencil or something like that. I think it was called Pencil. It had a name. It had a name. Yeah, of course, everything has a name. <laughs> I need to stop ending my sentences before I'm done. Um, but it had a name that was like Pencil or something like that. And it, it worked for Mac and Windows, but it worked better on Mac OS. And I remember like it was it was one of the animation programs to use for Warrior Cats animations. Oh, we love that. I mean, for legal reasons, I'm not endorsing pirating software. But if you can, do it. That doesn't, that's not right.
There was a program I had to take out of my toolbar when I started streaming because I did not pay for it. And I got... Uh... Paranoid. Dude, I lo remember the Warrior Cat days. That's what got me started animating. I did like a... Um... Like a MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker slideshow with Scourge. What a time. Exactly. Pirating is bad. Don't do it. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Oh no, neck down there, okay. I'm good on, yeah. Exactly, you got the right idea. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay. I think the new line is here. Oh my god, dude, Warrior Cat's multi-animator projects, uh, like, got me wanting to animate so bad. Got me? Had me? Made me want to animate so badly. I just don't finish my sentences, I think is the problem. <laughs> um... I remember watching, uh, actually there was one, it was a, it was a original character multi-animation project, multi-animator project, um, to the Living Tombstones Discord remix, and it's not on the internet anymore, I think Ernam7 was the project host and they took it down, uh, I, I'm just so sad that they did. Because that was, like, so influential. I'm trying to think of one of the other, like, really big multi-animator projects when I started animating. Cause like, not to be a whole like back in my day type of guy, but uh, I remember like when uh, they were still called multi-editor projects because no one had thought to like change the name from actual multi-editor projects. And then I think it was Lady Telia's like uh, original character lights out project. Where she was like, I'm going to call it a multi-animator project, because that makes more sense. And then everyone else did. <laughs> um... Exactly. But it, it's like, we just live our lives animating. They don't have to know. Uh, 
that's really annoying. I'm just gonna turn off the gray background then. There's going to be a lot of this, by the way. <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot she's got sleeves, um, like secondary sleeves, huh? There we go. That is a tangent. There we go. I mean, the um, ready as I'll ever be map was huge uh that's a more recent one but still that one was was like um i'm trying to think of one of the ones that i can't think of like a lot of multi-animator projects from the time i can just remember individual projects um Someone like on TikTok saw one of my animation was like, did you start out by drawing warrior cats? And I was like, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Hate that you would know that. I'd like to imagine that um, she just takes it off and like hands it to somebody. Here you go, buddy. Take that out. Oh, and then thumb.
remember, I know, it's been stuck in my head ever since I started animating it, honestly. It's so funny because uh, the bit I'm animating is just Leo, so it's like, the ri- And then it just, it ends. There we go. Yes, that's what this and Oh, hold on. I don't think you guys have seen it. I'll play it and you could see all of the nightmare that is uh, my notes. And so it just goes, ah! <laughs> Look at her go! I know. I'm so excited for this, uh, this little short. Wait, it's like this shape, right? So then... getting like lost in the sauce oh this one up here is is Well, I mean, we're just getting started, so you found the perfect time. Uh... There we go. That looks much better. And I can always go back and adjust it later if I decide- or if I find that something is not correct. And then let's go for the pins.
All good, Red. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you on the next stream, which will probably be Friday. Is there anything I can copy from this one? No. New frame. I think in the beginning, um, just on the keyframes, there's not much I can, I can copy from frame to frame. Although you did see me do the eye shape just because that never changes and I don't want it to boil because I, I redraw it every single time. So I'd rather just uh, copy and paste it and then make it look a little bit more natural later on than uh, deal with some boiling or just because I can't match the exact shape. But in the cleanup stage and the tie down stage, there's no shame in copying and pasting from your references. Um, one thing that uh, Nellie, the director, was saying is that when you're drawing the heads, uh, you want to try and use as few lines as possible. So like this slope of the side plane is just one big line. Like, so I'm trying not to sketch through it. Uh, I'm just trying to go and keep it as angular as possible with one one line. So I'm going to do it a few times until I get it right. And then there's usually one, like, also click kind of cross line for the shoulders as well. A lot of what makes this style work and like why it's so iconic is just the fact that uh, there are not that many strokes used. Again, Programs like Toon Boom and Clip Studio Paint have really cool tools in order to um, remove the excess lines that I'm erasing by hand. So if you use one of those two, uh, you're in luck. <laughs> yeah, so one big line is technically one shoulder is higher than the other, but I'm just going to kind of go at it with one, one big cross line like this. There we go.
Okay, and compared to the previous frame, I think this hand is a lot bigger. So I'm going to just shrink it down, the joys of digital art. Uh, and then I have a light table, so I'm going to just bring... up here and compare the size of the palm. Still needs to be just a little bit smaller. Hello, Mr. Sleepy Soap. <laughs> it is 3.30 for me. So I, I've been trying to stream a little earlier because I think a lot of my friends and audience are in Central and Eastern time zone. Uh, I'm on Pacific Standard, so uh, I've been trying to stream a little bit earlier for you guys. Oh wow, 7.32 a.m. I appreciate you joining. I'm just working on cleaning up the Leo animation uh, that we're doing as A practice and B promo. Uh, just kind of talking about the cleanup process for those who are working on the project and are curious about it or who are going to be working on uh, cleanup for the show. and listening to some pseudo, va pseudo vapor wave and having a good time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Honestly, I have so many friends who are in CST and uh, Eastern Standard Time, I, I might as well just readjust my my whole schedule. the eyes did not copy them properly yeah again I don't want the um the eyes to boil on the final animation. Boil is just kind of like when uh, you you redraw everything, um, and it it when you when you redraw the same thing multiple times and it doesn't exactly get drawn the same way, and so it kind of like rotates through three different frames. It can be done stylistically and look really cool, um, but there are sometimes, especially in cleanup, where you don't want things to boil, and so. The easiest way to make things not boil is just copy them. <laughs> just copy and paste. There's no shame. 
Uh, so I'm just going to perspective warp her eye a little bit. Now that's commitment. <laughs> oh my gosh, no problem. Have a good night. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, sleep is very important. There we go. Oh yeah, also the director's in the comments, uh, so if anyone has questions, please ask. My first instinct was to go, Dev in chat, Dev in chat, um, director in chat.
I keep flipping back and forth just to see, to make sure that I'm tracking the volume rather than the lines. Um, especially when you get to clean up, you want to make sure that you're not just tracing your previous work, you're, you're actually like redrawing it with the information that you've given yourself in your sketch. Um, which is probably why I, I don't really like clean up all that much. It's because it's like, I already drew it three times. Why do I need to draw it a fourth time, but cleaner, but, uh, people who are really good at clean art or people who are really good at clean up, understand that. And then are also really incredibly skilled at it. Shout out to cleanup artists everywhere. You have my undying love and affection. There we go. I forgot that I have three of her floating heads here. <laughs> it frightened me. Actually, this is wrong.
feel like the um, hood should be a little bit higher on this left side. Move it up and then add the shoulder back in. Oh, you're all good. I uh, am kind of quiet just because I'm concentrating. And I don't really have that much to say about cleanup. Uh, so no worries. This is kind of just a hangout stream. Um... Actually, that, that perspective's wrong. Cool, cool.
have assumed full shrimp position, and I'm like curled over my tablet trying to do this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, no worries. It's nice to have you here now, though. Uh, I'm still going to be streaming for quite a, uh, a bit longer, because uh, I'm doing cleanup, and it just, it takes me a while. Um... But yeah. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> exactly, Pip. I mean, I already referred to clean up as pulling a line, so I think I'm I'm starting to to break into your world already. Um, although technically I do think that that is the name for it. <laughs> Hey, no worries, man. Thanks for having hanging out. Uh, if you come back while I'm still streaming, that's awesome. Don't let your phone die. Very important. Have a good one. Um, I feel like her head is a lot smaller than it was in the previous frame. Nope, it is the exact same size, which is worrying, considering her mouth was open in the last frame and it is now closed. So what have I done wrong? It's like a game show. What have I screwed up this time? Um... Yeah. Uh, and this is the er, uh, so it should be. It's er. Uh an ER sound. And I feel like her teeth should just like slightly be parted. Mm. No, it's like right at the end of the ER sound. We're good. I feel like she just does not- she has, like, way too much, uh, chin <laughs> beneath her mouth. Um, I might have pulled this face shape from a frame that didn't have so much chin, question mark. And we're copying and pasting the eyes again, so they don't boil, because we've got some tight in-betweens in this spot. eyebrows um just i've completely forgotten about them 
we are using the mask to kind of emote like eyebrows in this series. So, uh, very important that I add that in. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. And then the oversleeve. Cool, 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 cool. See, no, her belt is like on her hip line, or on her waistline, not her hip line. So it should be here.
I feel like she has too much neck. <laughs> Just either make her head slightly bigger or move it down. Or both. Okay. I know that this, uh... This collar's gonna give me trouble. Um... Her jacket would rest across her back and her shell. So yeah, this is, this is right. Just looks a little awkward, because we've not seen the shell from this angle before. I feel like the title of the stream should be like spark draws one line six times and then undoes it again. gets bigger. Um, something's wrong. Something's wrong with this one, too.
I think the problem is I drew the like belt buckle part before I drew the weapon holder. Um, and so I'm trying to line it up with something that's already wrong. I should be lining it up with the shoulder. So technically these lines should come out like this. More curved because the body's facing away from the camera and kind of tapered at the end. Cool, 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 cool. No, not cool. <laughs> oh god. I think one of the problems I'm running into is I'm trying to track the lines and I should be tracking the volumes. So technically, like, okay, she's facing this way, blah, blah, blah. The line should run like this. It should be a little thinner. And her belt line should run like this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I... Uh, I'm just a little distraught over things not lining up. I was raised Catholic, so there's a part of me that, like, is still looking over my shoulder every time I say it. But it's become such a part of my vernacular that I, uh, cannot, can no longer, okay, something's wrong. It's this frame. Uh, but it's become such a part of my vernacular, there's no, there's no getting rid of it. It is here to stay. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I know technically her hood should be... Oh yeah, actually I do. Um, so I, I have here, like, uh, her hood going over her shell. Should her... Oh, her weapon holder should also go over the shell, correct? So it should be more like this, huh?
I think maybe if I showed more of the inside of the hood on this frame, it would help, like... Yeah, it would help convey this more. I should also just move the weapon holder, like, lines again. No worries. Yeah, something's definitely not right with the belts and weapon holder combo. Uh, it's less like a modification thing and more just like I'm not thinking about how the everything kind of folds over itself, which is a me problem. Um, In reality, her body's turned this way, and so everything now has kind of shifted, and I think we're seeing too much of some things. to show her the inside of her hood a little bit oh my god okay there we go i've said it again ay, ay, ay. okay So if we're seeing the side of her, so okay, so this is her front, which means that weapon holder should really be moving this way. Should be seeing so much less of it, yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. Sick.
Oh, I think I was going to put the arm... Yeah, for, for this part where her arm has to move out and away, I think I was going to put it on a different layer. Yeah, because the arm moves independently of the body. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just mm, arm layer. <laughs> Good job. Something is wrong with the hand. And I'll erase those later, I just want them to be visible for tracking reasons. Belt goes over the shell. Oh, belt goes over the shell. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I just realized that that whole part is connected. <laughs> I, like, I don't think I, in my head, know what a turtle looks like. Every time I, I go to draw these guys, I'm just like, mm, who knows what's connected? I think I'm just so good at, like, suspending my disbelief when it comes to characters that I just forget, uh, how science works. Oh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Teen exactly, teenage mutant ninja green guys. Uh oh god. I I knew that they were connected to their spine, but like in my head they're still like a like a shell's I guess in my head I think that a shell is like a backpack where there's space between your back and your shell, but that's not right because it's the spine. So there's no space. Um There still should be an indication of a hip here, though. Yeah. Uh. I'll just put it in like this. Maybe I could just use one line to describe it. Yeah, it's like, in my head I know that their spine is also their shell, or their shell is also their spine. But I think as soon as, like, as soon as that turtle stands up, man, I'm just like, I forget everything that I know about science. Oh, I need to fix these then. And this.
I probably will be on for maybe 10 minutes. I really want, I've been wanting to stream for like two hours uh, instead of an hour and a half. Um, uh, unless you want me to stream for longer. Uh, but two hours is, is my like, was my thought. Uh, just because it's better for, like, uh, algorithm BS. Yeah, I'll probably be on for another like seven, ten minutes, because um, I'm I'm pretty much done with the keyframes at this point, uh, except for this last one with the profile. Okay. Um, wow, there's a, a a considerable difference, and it's because I'm using the wrong sketch. Uh, I was like, wow, this shell is huge, and then I realized it's because uh, this red line is not yours, it's mine. Okay, the actual shell should come over like this. There we go. There we go. That is much better. And then the belt needs to come back over to the shell. Oh, wow. What a considerable reduction in uh, belt size. Okay, I can fix that later. This uh, frame actually shouldn't be too much different from this one. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've been trying to stream a little bit uh, earlier because usually I have to scram around 4.30ish. Um... 
my goal is to stream three times a week eventually to do monday wednesday friday but if i just like i know myself and if i just like showed up right out of the gate trying to stream three days a week i would stop because it would be too much so i started with one day a week and i've been doing two days a week and so next month i'm gonna try three days a week um just because i think that streaming is fun Uh, this is not the layer I'm looking for. There we go. That's not it either. I should really name my layers. No. It definitely has. Sometimes I just didn't know what to stream, and now at least this time uh, I not only have something to stream, but something to talk about, which is nice. Um, hopefully these streams have been kind of helpful for for people uh, who are working on the project as well. Yeah, and it's also good for my productivity. I do so much better, or I like work so much um, better when I'm on stream as well. Because um, I actually work consistently the whole time. Usually I have to do the like 25, 25, 25 method. I can definitely take them out. Uh, yeah, you're right. I think we can just use the bottom jaw to drive the the shape of the of what would be. Something more like that. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is the wrong... 
That's the wrong mouse shape. It's remember. Er. It's an ER. So actually her mouth should already be almost closed. Um Hold on. No, it can stay open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have this frame wrong, I think is what it is. I think I'll just close her mouth a little bit more because it's at the end of the phrase. Thanks, man. I, uh... I'm so happy with the way this is turning out. hand's a little awkward, but I think I'll need to fix it once I see the whole thing in context. Here I go, fixing the belt again. for sure um i definitely want to work on the just some like basic style stuff um i think because i have that the one it's so i have one for each turtle it's a mikey run leo or yeah a leo's gonna a leo oh my god leo's uh jumping on a box uh and kind of sticking a landing uh, Raph is stretching and Donnie is picking up a box and then falling over. Um, so I, I was going to work on those when I'm done with this one, just because I think it's good practice uh, for like mobility for each turtle. And it will definitely help uh, with Raph's redesign. Because... It's like a good locomotion um, exercise. So that'll, as soon as I finish this, that's my next priority. Um, and then once the, um, once the designs are done, I still want to do the soup animation and I'll just do that on my own time. Uh, but I think I'm just, I'm not 
familiar with Johnny and Mikey's designs enough to be like confident in that. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Try this line like six times. I'm not familiar enough with Donnie and Mikey's designs uh, to be confident in um, in in doing a, li a, a, a lip sync animation of that caliber. So uh, I'll do the locomotion exercises first, and then we can see. This would be just a little bit out further. Yeah! I, I cannot wait for the soup animation. Like, the keyframes, or, or like, it's not even keyframes at this point. They're just like stick figure sketches. Because, um, again, I, I'm not confident in my understanding of Mikey and Donnie's designs yet. Um, but the keyframes I have, again, oh, not keyframes, the stick figures I have, I'm so excited for. Uh... <laughs> so, actually, this is wrong, because... Her hand should be moving inwards if she's rotating to the side. And we should see less of this side. Yeah, that's better. Um, oh, I didn't- that's right, I like- I got uh, self-conscious about the fact that they were just stick figures and I didn't want to be like, I don't understand how the characters work. Um, hold on, I have it. I can just show it right now, because I'm- I think I'm done for the day, like I'm just not getting anywhere because I'm tired. Um, so I need to eat something and then come back to it later. But let me open the- uh, the soup project, and I'll mute my music so you can hear it. Um, oh god, I hope this is somewhat understandable. Put the music off just for now, and then... Where's my in and out? This is it, basically. Hello? Oh, okay, cool. Or you could just pause halfway through. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hello? Hey, what's up? I need your help. Can you come here? Uh, I can't. I'm still in clothes. All right, well, hurry up and get over here. Uh, I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? I can't find them. There's only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? It means there's only soup. Well, then get out of the soup aisle. All right. You don't have to shout at me. Hello? That's basically it. <laughs> Can you come here? Uh, I can't. I'm still in clothes. All right. Well, hurry up and get over here. Uh, I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? I can't find them. There's only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? It means there's only soup. Well, then get out of the soup aisle. All right. You don't have to shout at me. Hello? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm so excited to finish this once I understand them better. Because uh, I wanted to do like a split screen, but I, I love the the effect where um, because they're cartoon characters, they can push the split screen like they can move it. And so that's what I want to do with this one. And then it'll transition to just Mikey in the middle of the soup aisle. 
Uh, and I might get to the part where he walks away too. But I am, yeah. Once I once I understand their designs better, I'm I cannot wait to do this. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I'm gonna call it on on the Leo animation just because I need to go get some dinner and and uh, work on this a little bit later. But thank you so much, everyone who came and hang out. Um. Oh yeah, no worries. Um. I, I, if, if you want to send me those notes now, I can pin them in our channel, uh, but I'm not going to get to work on this for quite a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, so thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I am so sorry that I'm back to the tinny, with two N's, tinny microphone. Um, oh yeah, thank you. I, I definitely feel like I understand the style a lot better, having worked on the Leo animation. Um... And, and it will just continue to go from there. Um, but, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I'll export it and send it to you. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. We got some new people in here, which was awesome. I, uh, I enjoyed seeing everyone's names and stuff. Um, I'm going to be streaming a little bit more inverse, I think on Friday, if I haven't finished cleanup by then. It'll be more cleanup, and if I have finished cleanup, it will be color, uh, which is fun. So, yeah. Uh, and then after I finish this one, I'll be working intermittently either on my own projects or on locomotion tests for the turtles. So, thank you so much for dropping in. Uh, I will be back on Friday, probably at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time, um, whatever that time is in your local time zone. And I'll see you then. Have a good one.